Hello and welcome to an update of our Burmy Bag Max. I know that I'm doing this one day late, but oh, you know, things happen. But the, the great thing about using these plastic bags, I promised I was going to get a different bag so it doesn't make so much noise, but haven't gotten around to it. Um, the wonderful thing about keeping the plastic over this is it gets the worms really up uh, to the very top because everything is nice and moist for them, nothing dries out, and they're able to work over the material. And look at this. I mean, it's just completely dark and beautiful and really worked over here. They are definitely ready for for a feeding oh what is this i feel up here oh so just a solid mass of worms very nice not sure what that was but it's all worms All of this material is really worked over beautifully, just beautifully. I'm going to give these guys. Oh, they're also here. Oh yeah, they're everywhere basically. Very nice. I'm going to give these guys a really nice wet feeding. Now, because this feeding is so wet, I'm going to do what I typically don't do in the system, but I have to adjust depending on what I'm feeding them. So normally I put moist bedding in here, but this, this feeding is basically water. So I need to have something that's going to absorb all of the moisture. So it's going on top of dry bedding as opposed to what I normally do. But it's going to keep everything really nice and moist. So watermelon and the juices. And then I'm going to give them a bit more because they really there are a lot of worms in here and they can pretty much handle a large feeding a lot of a lot of bananas yes we go through a lot of bananas we just love bananas and then I'm going to give this some um, oyster shell to make sure everything is really nice and pH neutral, but also this is the grit for the worms. And then I am going to bury that. I want to cover all of this up because the banana will dry out if not covered by something moist. That has been my experience. So even though we're going to have um, these plastic bags over, still can't get over all these wormies. Ah, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Yeah, so even though I'm, you know, I'm putting the plastic bags to keep everything moist still if it's exposed they will dry out so this way nothing dries out and the worms will happily go in there and compost and that's it quick video it's going great and can't wait to see what it looks like next week thanks for joining me